Hi, my name is Josh Newman from statefitanywhere.com. I'm here to show you how to do performance rolling for your lower body, excluding your foot. Now, basically what we do this for is to improve tissue quality uh, before we start a training session. It just helps send blood to uh, your muscle to allow it to move and function just a little bit better. Uh, what we use is a travel roller. We like it because it's small, compact, it maintains its structure when you put your body weight on it, and it does have a nice soft sleeve on it. Um, so basically what you want to get done is you put it down on the floor, you take a seat on your bum, and place your Achilles just on top of the roller, and you're going to take your other foot, bend your, uh, place on the ground, bend your knee, take your hands, tuck your shoulders back, lift your bum just slightly up off the ground. And you're going to start rolling up and down, and at the same time moving your foot left and right just to get different spots on the roller. Okay? Now you're going to probably spend about 30 seconds per segment of your body. And you're not trying to really crush tissue here, you're just being very, very light. And you're going to keep moving it up towards your bum. Now what you want to also focus on is as you do this, you're checking to see how it feels on one side and being aware of it so you can check and see how it feels on the other side when you do it. So I move up into the hamstring there. You're going to move your toes again, left, right, changing angles to see if you can catch any spots. For each person, it's going to be a little bit different, so whatever works for you, if you find a spot that needs a little bit extra time, spend a little bit of extra time on that. Get up into your bum sheet there a little bit. A little roll again, changing spots. My bum cheek's a little bit tender. I was playing in the uh, field across provincials this past weekend, and my team, the volleyballers, won the championship. Um, and I use this tool before every game, so it's fantastic for, for helping improve performance. So that's basically the back side there. As you can see, I was in a bridge position there. And as I flip over, I'm going to get into another bridge position and go from sort of basically a glute bridge there, or you go to a front bridge with a combo of a side bridge. So we just did the back side of the leg, we're going to do the front side. So again, we start down here, just by our ankle on our, sort of our tib and side. Brace into the floor, lift up, and we're going to just do some light rolling. Again, this side, maybe a little more pressure depending on how you feel. Work hard there. Find the spots that work for you. And then roll out a little bit. Through the IT band, a little less pressure there. Into your TFL and your hip there. The hip flexors. Now, this is a great spot. I want to spend some extra time here. If you spend all day sitting before you go into your training session, really need to bust open this area and get it moving a little bit more. We're also going to move into our quad a little bit. Hard again to see if it's uh, sliding into a side bridge sort of spot here. And roll any spots again that feel extra, extra, extra tight. Now, did my left leg. I would do the same thing on my right leg just to see if there's any differences between the two and spend any extra time on any spots that need more work. Uh, if you need to find out more information about this kind of stuff, check out our blog at blog.statefitanywhere.com. Thanks.